Howdy folks, Ariel doing the Cub here, and welcome back to my Tinker's Construct Guide. This is part three, so in part one we looked at how to make the workshop and a basic tool. Part two we built a smeltery, and this time around we're going to be looking at some of the more advanced tier two tools. And if you want to get a good idea of what we're going to be doing, you can open up Materials New Volume 2, scroll through the different tools. At first you got just the basics, and then we get into some of the cooler ones, like for instance, the hammer. The hammer is a heavy mining tool meant for digging out large areas. It is also effective on the undead. This thing is amazing. It digs out a 3x3 three three area instead of just one. You know, instead of just, boom, oh, I knocked out a single block. No, you knocked out nine at one go. It's amazing. It does some extra damage on the undead. It has a lot of durability mostly based on the large plates that are used. So that is pretty awesome, and if you're wondering about large plates, according to the wiki I'm reading, and the wikis are always useful, links in the description, the, this will determine the average durability of the tool um, based on each plate. It also affects the mining speed of the tool, so you might want to take that into consideration. Anyway, let's hop out of there. Now, in order to build these things, we're going to have to go back to Materials New Book 1, and find the recipe to this guy, the Tool Forge, which is basically like the Tool Station. It's just a level up, and you can actually use, and I say actually a lot, bear with me, you can actually use the, the original Tool Station here in this recipe because you're not going to need it. The, the Tier 2 Tool Forge can be used to make regular tools, so we're going to retire this guy. Now you can use iron, that's what the recipe showed us. I think you can also use gold, though, if you want to change the leg coloring. I don't want to, I just thought that'd be cool to show. Alright, let's get our tool forge, we'll set it back up. There we go, as you can see, you can still make the regulars, you can make your shovel, you can make your pickaxe. We don't want to do that. We want to build a hammer, because, I mean, come on, that's pretty awesome. So we're going to need the hammerhead, a tough tool rod, and a couple of, well, what are these things called? Large plate patterns, which look like creeper faces, no idea why. We well, already went ahead and grabbed these, we're going to jump over to, how do we do this? the tool part builder and build some of these guys now what is this what's going on here oh it takes eight material what yeah these things can be expensive but they are well worth it so there we go got that guy what is this material cost of three we'll just plot, drop the whole block in there material cost of eight we're gonna need one of those and of course we want to build this tool out of well you know I guess we could in theory if we wanted to just try it, I actually don't know if you can build these things out of anything other than metal. Let's find out if you can make a stone one real fast. It's going to be a really lame tool, but, you know, just to see if we can do it. Ah, there you go. Yes, you can create one of a stone. We are not going to, though. I mean, this is an advanced weapon. If we're going to do this, we're going to do it right. Am I right? Can I get a, can I get a hoo-yah? All right, I'll go ahead and pretend like you guys said hoo-yah on that one. Tough tool rod. There we go. And last but not least, the hammerhead. Now, what are we going to build this guy out of? We have some options that I haven't even really considered yet. I've been thinking about it like a little bit. Like, eh, what are we going to build this thing out of? Let's hop over into Mighty Smelting and see if we can make a decision here. Hmm. Hmm. We can basically make any of these because I can spawn in anything, right? What's going to have the best advantage here, though? Cobalt has a durability of 800. That's pretty good. Durability of 600 on Ardite. Oh, heck. Manillion. Why not? Now, if you look here, you see Manillion is actually made from two Cobalt and two Ardite. We can smelt those down if you want to, so... Cobalt? Oh, I didn't know they had Cobalt Gravel Ore. That's pretty cool. Some Cobalt and some Ardite. Throw that in here. And now we wait? What? How long is this going to take? I didn't even consider the fact that we'd have to wait on this. I just remembered that these things have a higher material cost than we initially thought. Um, as you see here, it's going to take three for just the tough tool rod, eight for the large plate, 16 because we need two large plates, and eight for the, eight for the hammerhead cast. Hmm. Hmm. I did not consider this at the time. <laughs> Now, I know there are some naysayers out there who are going to be like, come on, this is this is ridiculous. You're you're never going to do this in-game. You're not going to build a whole tool out of it. This is crazy. You're crazy, Cub. And you know what? You're right. But this is a tutorial. It's just for kicks. You, of course, in your game can decide what you want to make this tool out of based on your understanding of the different abilities. We're just building this for fun because, you know, we can. 
let's go ahead and make that tool rod so we'll have that out of the way. Nice. We'll go ahead and make the the pickaxe, or not the pickaxe head, the hammerhead as well. Okay. And then it's just these guys. Good grief, there's a lot pouring in there. Ah, oh, but we have enough, so that's good. That's that's good. No, just barely. Just barely. Wow, we had three left. Excellent, but we got all the parts that we needed. So let's hop over here and let's build this awesome hammer. There we go. Look at that. So it's got three modifiers just like any other hammer. Let's call it... Thor's dream, because this is what Thor dreams of. Pro Tinkerer. That's a nice achievement to get. So the hammer is a broad mining tool. We already knew this. It has, if we throw it back in here, three modifiers. So just like anything else, a mining speed of nine, a durability of, good gosh, 27,000. That is never going to break. <laughs> oh my goodness. A mining speed of nine. There's not really a whole lot of an improvement we can do to that, but that doesn't mean we won't try. In fact, let's let's try. So we accidentally took up two modifiers with redstone, which I didn't mean to do, but since we already did it, let's just go ahead and fill up all three of them. This is, of course, not the kind of thing you're going to want to build. You know, you're never going to need to mine. Oh. Grab some torches since we're going underground. You're never going to want to do this. This is a bit too much, but I don't know. I mean, maybe in your game you, you've you been sitting around thinking, what? I mean, I want to build a hammer that has nothing but speed attached to it. If so... Here's what it's going to look like as soon as I get over here. Whoa. All right. Well, let's just... Ow. Give this thing a test. Ready? Boah! Look at me. I am amazing. I'm mining faster than I'm moving. Look at this. This is awesome. All right, guys. Just for fun, I hopped in to Creative and spawned us in one of these guys so we can see how it works. Look at that. So it kind of works like you have a tree capitor. Install, is that what it's called? I normally call it tree capacitor, which is wrong. Look at that, it brings down a whole tree in one quick whoop. So that'll be useful for your, your mining needs. Or not your mining, your excavating needs, I guess. What the heck just happened? What? So anything you place next to this guy will apparently get placed if you right click. What about this guy? Does this guy do... Oh my gosh. It does! You can't even imagine how useful that is, right? So you're digging a hole in the ground. Let's dig a hole in the ground. Get down to some rock. Right, and you're digging off in one direction. See, I'm even learning things right now. And it gets dark, and you're just like, oh my gosh, I need to place, I need to place a torch. You just look at the wall, and boom, it's placed, and you can just keep mining. Wow! So I just learned something new. All right, guys, well, that pretty much sums up for this one. That was just a quick demo of how to build these Tier 2 tools. And, of course, you can go onto the wiki or read in your books to find out what the other tools are, how they work. Building them is just as easy as what you just saw there. Very simple, very amazing tools. Especially if you're in survival, these things are going to help you out a lot. And I can see them being really useful in different mod packs. I'm actually going to be building some of this stuff in my FTB series with Bjorn next time I record. So that'll be a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, you won't, might want to stick around because it's going to be kind of a dual episode. We're going to be looking at everything else there is in this mod because there's a lot of other things. And then we might have another episode, another separate episode, kind of like as a tips. Because you guys have been sending a lot of tips in on all of these videos and making some great suggestions on things I might want to show you guys. So definitely tune in for that if you're interested to hear what others have contributed to the series. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.